What's up? Episode 24 on the case. Uh, looking good. Let's see how our lighting is. I think that's a little, a little harsh. Is that too bright? I think so. Okay, a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Good. Okay, who's going to be in the house today? Starting with Art Talk on episode 23. Bring it. You guys are rolling in any second. Yeah, just waiting for it. Waiting for it. Who's it going to be? Super cool uh, art talk today. I got a great subject for you guys. Stick around. Michael Tatro, you're the first one in the house. Frank Morales, number two in the house here at Art Talk. We are in Malibu, California. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Very cool. I got some great stuff for you today. Some uh, a great art talk. Uh, this is Art Talk at 8 a.m. Ivan, good morning. Uh, we are going to be talking about uh, well, I'm not going to give it away right off the bat, but it's going to be a good, good subject. Uh, Art Talk, it's where we're helping you to uh, in, increase your, your, your creative power in lots of uh, unique ways. Uh, Rick White, what's up? Woody Master. Yeah, I got something to show you. Uh, okay, so um, if you have not been to Art Talk before, guys, uh, this if this is your first time, this is episode 23. We are Art Talk at 8 a.m. It's Facebook Live. We do this live, and then it gets repurposed later on. Ricardo Blanco reporting for duty, sir. I like it. Um, uh, Mr. White. Uh, this kind of sounds like a like a evil Doctor No or Doctor, you know, uh, James Bond thing. Maybe not. It's the, it's the positive side. Uh, John Sean Seanfield. Uh, I hope I said that right. Thanks for joining us today. I like your logo. It looks like a what is that? A vet or a Camaro? Not really sure what that logo is. Let me know. Very cool. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Very excited today. Today is Tuesday, and um, uh, did you take out the trash? It's trash day. It's trash day for me, and I remember to do it, which is not something that usually happens. Uh, Ricky Marshall, thanks for joining us. This is Art Talk. You can ask me questions. We are live. You can interact with each other. Uh, if you see a friend, say hi, because it's morning time. We're having coffee together, or in case maybe some water. I think Kathy's planning on doing something. Good morning from Minden, Minden Nevada, says Cindy, uh, Nevada. I love that state. Uh, my dad used to write um, episodes of Bonanza when I was a kid, uh, all about the Ponderosa, things like that. I think I mentioned that in previous Art Talk. Uh, my dad is a Hollywood writer, has been for 60 plus years, wrote Outer Limits, Twilight Zones, Ben Casey, Route 66, Gunsmoke, Rifleman, you name it. All those shows, he wrote all those things. He wrote about 3,500 published pieces. He actually has a wing in, in, the, in the University of, I think maybe the University of Minnesota, something like that, uh, a wing dedicated to all his work. Uh, good morning, Monique. Thank you for joining us. I think, Monique, you're a newcomer into the fold here. Very cool. Ivan says, uh, I made some really good garlic toast last night. Yeah, well, you know, make it again. I'll be over. I'll be over. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, uh, a really good subject for today. Uh, but just as a quick reminder, Sunday we have Muscles and Mojo happening at the Murphy Museum. Very excited about that. That's our that's our launch show, our premiere event. Uh, we're going to have a lot of great cars, a lot of and fantastic people. Plus, the museum is open. It's free. Free coffee, matchbox cars for everybody. Um, Kathy has a potential job that's coming in. She may be building something very unique. I'll get to show you guys that on the vlog. Uh, we had a vlog episode go up this morning. A great hike at Point Doom. And uh, the Cadillac CT6, so that was pretty fun. And then I'm going to be spending my birthday, which is tomorrow, at the Murphy Museum painting and, and working. That's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing on my birthday. That's what I want to do. I'm very excited about that. Uh, Jamie Bradley, thanks for joining us. Okay, so let's get into today's subject for Art Talk. I know you can hear the, the grinding going on outside. It's Kathy putting together juice. She's going to bring it in any minute. and Anything can happen. Um, today's Art Talk is about boundaries. And uh, boundaries are a, a tough area uh, because we, as people, we tend to build up insecurities, uh, things that things we're confident at and things we're not so confident at. And then we create a button, you know, a button that goes right here. And some people, they come by and they, they press that button and it pisses us off because um, we don't want them to press it. But guess what? We're the ones that Put it there and we put it there through our affirmations uh, and our affirmations may be i'm not good enough uh, i'm insecure at this certain kind of thing whatever it may be and, and you you get that from 
you know, when you grow up as a kid and your parents or someone around you, um, you build up confident aspects of yourself and then you, you build up aspects that maybe aren't serving you that well. And they're still not serving you to this day. And we're going to show you guys a way to, to eliminate that, to change that, uh, to start to build that up. And uh, boundaries are a very important thing uh, because boundaries are about trust. Uh, but we tend to blame other people when they push our button. And uh, the problem with that process is that in blaming someone else, we take the victim's role. We don't take a proactive role about solving problems and about being able to change things that are not empowering to us. We tend to put it on other people and blame them and nothing ever changes until the next person comes by and pushes the same button, right? You know what I mean? And then there's people out there that kind of know your buttons and then they, they push it, you know, when, when they get mad, right? But we all have our buttons and we put them right here or maybe right here, you know, wherever it is, whatever your button is. Uh, and uh, that's your boundary and people will come by and they'll, they'll push into that boundary and they'll, they'll piss you off. But it's not about them. It's not about them. Uh, the problem isn't going to be solved on the outside by changing other people, by changing your circumstances. The problem can only be changed in the way that we look at it, right? Uh, Michael Mullen, thanks for joining us. Uh, Chris Moody, thanks for coming in. Uh, so how do, we, how do we deal with boundaries? How do we uh, deal with people that constantly uh, step into our boundaries? And uh, the only reason that we have an issue with that boundary is because we've established that. We've established that. And the first step in, um, in being able to uh, deal with boundaries is to get a clear vision on what it is that you want. Uh, something just came up uh, today with, with Kathy and she had to establish her boundaries, but she was upset a little bit because she wasn't, uh, well, she wasn't getting what she wants. And, and it simply was, it came down to not being clear on what it is that she wanted to do. And then once you, you establish what you want to do, you become focused and, and uh, uh, confident. And then you can, you can verbalize that to someone else. And you can do that in a way that doesn't hurt their feelings. Um, but that establishes your boundaries. And, and, and we want to do that. We want to move forward. We also want to inspire people to establish their boundaries so that their life can be stronger and more empowering. Okay. So, but the, the thing about, about having someone in your life where you're kind of walking on eggshells with them is what are we really afraid of? What are we really afraid of with that person is that, is that if we, if we say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing and, and they're, they're um, kind of on the fence emotionally, uh, and that you can you can barely even tip them and they'll fall over. And, you know, what are we afraid of? We're afraid that they're going to get mad. We're afraid that they're going to yell at us. We're afraid they're going to try and make us feel guilty or bad in some capacity. And and that kind of stuff can affect us if we allow it to. Uh, and we want the, the way to avoid that hurt is to become conscious. Once again, here we are, the unconscious person that that we used to be. And you guys start watching our talk and you become this conscious person over here. It's like, much, much cooler, much cooler place to be. Because when you're conscious, you can actually decide what it is that you want for your life and you can move, you can take steps moving towards it. And having, establishing boundaries is a place to do that. Your ability to say no, right? Because in a way, you know, you, sorry, that was the art talk alarm going on. I, I'm already here, buddy. I'm already here. Benjamin Wright, good morning. Chris Ac Erickson, good morning. Kathy, good morning. <laughs> What's up? Ding. That's a good color. It's quite tart. I'm still kind of it's got to do it. Yeah. Okay. Three uh, apples. Three apples. Six carrots. Six carrots. Two celery. Half a lime. Oh. Wow. It's, uh, that's, uh. Want some more lime? No, I don't want more want lime. Want some garlic? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> oh, man, if that doesn't cure something in my body, I don't know what will. Not that I need anything cured. I'm doing pretty good. Mm. But that's a good, that's a good kicker. Oh, that line kicks my butt. Got to stay focused. Uh, Got to stay focused. Okay. Um, being concerned about people that are, that are uh, the type of people that they're emotion, emotionally challenged, shall we say. Not unstable, but emotionally challenged. And... How do we deal with those people? It might be your mom or your sister or your brother or someone in your life that is constantly challenging you, constantly keeping you on your toes. Uh, but we get, you know, a little bit afraid of their anger or that they might uh, make us feel bad in some way. And 
And the answer is to, to know what we want, is to go from a, uh, a lack of awareness and that big question mark, don't know what that is, and I have, I have a, a tip. Actually, I have a, a little bit of trivia about a question mark. I'll get back to that if someone can remind me. Um, and uh, uh, to, to know what you want and um, to begin to implement those things in a positive way. Uh, so you have to find positive triggers. Uh, it, the thing is that we... We tend to blame, we tend to look at the superficial side of people. Uh, guy's a jerk, guy's an a-hole, guy's this, guy's that. But uh, we don't really know what's in their mind and what's causing them to act that way. And when we can raise ourself from a lack of awareness to awareness and not judge people for that superficial side, but understand that we're all here, we all have a purpose, we're all doing the best that we can. And uh, some people just have more more challenges than we do. You know, you're gonna you're gonna come across people, whether it's your boss or a coworker, that's um that's not necessarily as aware that you are, and, and and you're not gonna be able to change them. But you can change them. I mean, you're not gonna be able to change them in the traditional sense by saying, "Hey, you're wrong, and you need to do this." That's not gonna change them. That's only gonna make them wrong. It's gonna push their button even more. Uh, the only way to change them is by you changing yourself, is by you acting differently uh, to what it is they're, they're saying. Uh, more compassion, more love. That's the answer, my, my friends. That's the answer. That, that the only way to move forward is from a, the reference of, of love and kindness. And, um, and sometimes that can be uh, removing yourself out of the equation going somewhere else, not even being in, in, there anymore. Uh, Jake, Jack French, thanks for joining me. Let me know where you guys are. Okay, Once again, this is our talk, episode 23, and we are talking about boundaries, baby. Boundaries, like this one right here. Shh, shh, shh. That's my little square, right? It's my boundary, my little abode here. This is my studio in Malibu, California. Quick side note, question mark. Ready? Question mark trivia. Where does the question mark come from? Anybody? Think about that. That's the trivia question for today. Where does the question mark come from? I'll let you know in just a second. Um, so finding positive triggers for yourself, finding things uh, going from a, a level of unconsciousness to a, a level of awareness, uh, a level of, I, I don't know what's going on to like, I get it. I get it. I understand. And I'm going to move forward from that frame of mind is to catch yourself that, that negative talk that's going on. And um, uh, because that negative talk is what's causing that button to be here. Does that make sense? So that insecurity that you have been replicating in your mind, uh, it's not about anybody else. It's not about those people, your sister, your brother, or your dad, or anybody else. It's about you holding that button there, and we gotta let that go. We got to affirm that which we want. So, uh, you know, it may seem silly, but going into the bathroom and looking in the mirror and telling yourself all the things that you need to hear is an important thing. It may look silly, but it's something that you do by yourself. You got to go and you got to affirm that you're confident, that you're worthy, that you're, you're meant to be here, that you have uh, a purpose in life. And those things are the things that obviously, you know, if we don't get them from our parents or our siblings or something, then we, we don't feel them. And we can't wait for someone else to tell us something that we should already know ourselves. Okay? Uh, if, we'll, if you want more out of life, you got to go get it, my friends. You got you to get it. And if you're not getting it, uh, if you're not getting what you want, you got to affirm. You got to, to be clear on what it is that you want. You got to know what you want. And you got to move through your life uh, one step at a time with that, that affirmation. You know, I keep affirming health. And as a result of that... Uh, I get these delivered from from that lady outside the door, who I just happened to make my wife. She's incredible, and she does this stuff for me. So it's very cool. Never asked for it. She just does it, you know, because I keep affirming health, so we talk about health. We are grateful for our health. We appreciate health, and then health appears in our life, okay? That's how it works. If you're struggling with money, then you need to affirm prosperity and you need to look at the 10 cents that you have is it's 10 cents more than than not having 10 cents at all right it's important to do this uh people that lack uh, they lack because they focus on lack people that are prosperous uh, are prosperous because they focus on that okay so i want you guys to focus on what it is that you want um and and to live your ultimate life and you can do that by establishing your boundaries saying no to someone i mean you understand that that Lots of people say, I, I'm going to say yes to everything, right? 
And that's good, that's important, but you're not gonna say yes to jumping off a cliff, not that anyone's ever gonna say, hey, you should do that. But sometimes when you say no to someone, you're saying yes to yourself, okay? So it's important this thing to distinguish, is that someone asks you to do something and you don't wanna do it, but in your mind you're saying, well, I said I was gonna say yes to everything. Uh, you're saying yes to establishing boundaries. You're saying yes to establishing what it is that you want. And that opens up a whole new world, a whole new variety of things for you to be able to follow through. And, and you'll be amazed at how that all comes into place. It's like a round game playing with round pegs. Okay, the question mark. Where's the question mark come from? Well, the question mark is actually an Egyptian hieroglyph. That's where it comes from. And what it represented was that cats were revered in, in the Egyptian days. Uh, they were considered to be gods. And when a cat turned away from you and walked away, his tail would make this little curve and his little bunghole was the little dot. I'm not kidding, that's where it comes from, little dot. And uh, people wondered, what did that mean? The, the, this cat which I revere is godlike. He turns around and walks away from me. I don't, I don't know what that means. And that became the question mark. So it became a Egyptian hieroglyph. And you'll notice that, uh, you can even Google that. That'll, that'll show up in, in uh, I don't know if it's on the pyramids, but it's, it's someplace out there. Okay, Alisa uh, uh, Jackson, thank you for joining me. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. That's what we got for today. Very cool, very excited about Muscles and Mojo this weekend. I'm gonna have Surf Woodies. Gonna be signing Surf Woodies there. Gonna have those books. So come out, uh, enjoy the car show, 7 to 9 a.m. at the Murphy Museum in Oxnard. It's on Statham and Oxnard Boulevard from 7 to 9 a.m. The museum will be open. We got lots of new things that are gonna be revealed there. Plus, we got the gallery. You guys will be able to go and see the gallery, even though there's some cars in there. You'll be able to see where the art gallery is going to be, the Fireball Gallery, coming May 11th. Very, very excited about that. Okay, today is Tuesday. Go out and get them, people. Go out and, and get it is the things that you want for today. Live your life with as much passion and focus that you possibly can. Be aware of your thoughts. Try to, to maintain that chain link throughout the day. Be aware of your thoughts, but get out there, play, and if something it isn't something fun that you're having, try to find a way to make it fun, okay? You know what I mean? Not easy. Easy to understand? Doesn't matter. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you soon.